this is another pair of order of operations problem and sometimes a pair of problems tells the story better than a thousand words in algebra it's a common error to see this problem and solve this one so it is beneficial to see the two together let's see the first one this is an order of operations problem we have subtraction multiplication exponentiation and subtraction so on we have four operations we start first with the parentheses Inside the parentheses, we have a mini order of operations problem where exponentiation is stronger than subtraction. So we start there. So we have 14 minus 4 times 3 squared is 9. Now we still have the parentheses, so we perform the subtraction in there. So we get 14 minus 4 times 9 minus 7, that's 2. Now we're done with the parentheses. We have a multiplication and a subtraction. Multiplication is stronger. So from 14, we subtract 4 times 2 is 8. And finally, the subtraction, 14 minus 8 is 6. Okay, let's see this other one. So this other one is very similar. The only exception is that this subtraction is not parentheses. But it creates a significant difference because from 14 here we're subtracting 4 and then there is a multiplication here from 14 we're not subtracting 4 we're subtracting 4 times whatever this is so because there are two parentheses one after the other we proceed left to right in the first parenthesis there is just a subtraction so we're talking 10 times 3 squared minus 7 now we're going to work on the second parenthesis inside the parenthesis Again, exponentiation beats subtraction. Now there is just a subtraction left, and finally, we perform the multiplication. Thank you for watching.